Alright, you guys. Um, this right here is going to be... Um, the bag says Dick Sporting Goods, but this is going to be everything that I got tackle-wise on my vacation. And the other bag is going to be what my friend got. So, um, let's get this started. This is um, like a creature style bait. Um, Yum makes it. This thing absolutely destroys bass at one of the ponds I go to. You Texas rig that. Kind of like a brush hog. Um, next thing I got is some brush hogs. This thing, um, I think normally like 7 or $8 for a kit. Usually I don't buy these, but um, this was on something like $2. And that's like 20 brush hogs in the two mini sizes. And then um, that, those two baby brush hog packs and then two regular size for $2. So you that's a lot of money you just saved. Um, next thing I got is the go-to Yum Dinger Chartreuse Tail. Um, great for catching bass. Next thing I got, these are really sick looking. Which I mean, I'm sure a lot, I don't, we don't have these in Wilson. I've never seen a place in Wilson that sells these. But it's the tri Zoom Trick Worm, which I mean they sell those, but that color is really nice. It's like that um, brown with the chartreuse tip. A lot like the Dinger that I just showed you with the chartreuse tip. So I think that should be really good. Um, next thing we have is, um, I feel like everyone uses these no matter if you're good at fishing or if you're not good at fishing, they just catch fish. Um, zoom, trick worm, and bubble gum. Next thing I have is the Havoc Pit Boss in Green Pumpkin. I'm not going to show that to y'all. Most people should know what a Pit Boss is. Next thing I have is the Havoc Grass Pig. And Swamp Gas is the color. Havoc just makes some great looking baits for like $2.99 a pack. Um, next bag of soft plastic. I think this is my last bag. So it's fine. Um, this is the Zoom Fluke, um, Super Fluke in Bubblegum. I've never seen them in Bubblegum. That's pretty cool. Alright, this is going to be the stuff I got from New Sports Shop now. Um, I got a uh, Tsunami Popar. This thing's really sick in my opinion. I like it just because of the color. It's like that hot pink bubblegum looking color. A little feather tail. I like it. Might be kind of girly, but I think it's nice. Um, then we got this I got from Dick's, though. Dick's Sporting Goods. This is the Jawbone Tackle Company. It's like, um, it looks pretty big, but it's really not. It's like the size of the Booyah Pad Crasher Jr., but it's a pretty cool color, so I got it. It was like $2.99, too. Um, next thing I got is the. Arbor gas, I think that's how you say it. Anyway, it's just a jitterbug and like the frog pattern. Uh, might not be what color is that. Uh, cricket frog. Um, great nighttime lure. Um, here's the VMC wacky hooks. I was running low on those, so I got a pack of them. Uh, VMC four alt worm hook. These things are like my favorite hooks. VMC fast grip wide gap hooks. They have instead of one barb, they have three little barbs on the end. Um, uh, so eleven pack. Here, I um, only got these because when we go to the creek, these things work really well if the bass and or catfish aren't biting. Um, white beetle spin, like a see-through yellow and black beetle spin, and like it's like candy corn, but it's um like a yellow and red beetle spin. About Ninety-nine cents a piece. Um, Zoom, sorry, this is soft plastic too, but a Zoom curly tail worm or U tail worm. Once again, that brownish chartreuse, I really like that. Texas ring that should catch a lot of bass. Another soft plastic, which is just the um, pit boss again in green pumpkin. Here we have the Lunker Hunt pocket frog. I like using smaller frogs in my ponds because um, the bass is a better hookup ratio than a big frog. Anyway, that's the Lunker Hunt Pocket Frog. Just a tiny, really realistic frog. So I'm calling it like 1 8 ounce egg sinkers, egg weights for catfish in a pond because there's no current, so no need for a big one. Um, black bullet weights and 3 16 ounce for Texas rigging. And then I got three of these. They're not the regular size buzz bait. Every time I go catfishing, I like to throw top water bait for bass. Um, that's why I got the jitterbug. That's why I got some of the frogs. And then these right here 
This one in particular, I have caught more bass on at nighttime than any other lure. Um, the Strike King, like mini buzz bait, mini pro buzz bait or something. Um, and that's in black, that's in white, that's in chartreuse. That's all my tackle that I got on my vacation. And I got two more things to show. All right, this is my friend Dustin's, what he bought. Some of it I don't really agree with. Like this, this is a Strike King Micro King spinner bait. Uh, I'm not really feeling this. I mean, he'll catch fish on it in like my pond and stuff, but I don't know. I wasn't really feeling it. This I told him to get because I thought it was really good. Uh, the black and white Zoom Horny Toad. We catch a ton of fish on Horny Toads. And um, black does really good and white does really good. So black and white, it's got to be great. Um, he should have got four alt, but he never pays attention. He got five alt worm hooks. Got a black buzz bait. Can't go wrong with that. It's real. His favorite bait, the Texas rig, the um, yum. But that's it's like the crawl, not crawl, the um, creature type bait. He actually got this is the one he got from Jawbone the Frog. And I thought I got the smallest one that they had, but actually he got like a miniature version of the miniature. And then the large was just crazy big, but mine looks big compared to his. So he got the smaller version, which I like his better. And then he got uh, Swimming Dingers, which is just a Yum Dinger, like the ones we use with the little chartreuse tail, except it's got a paddle tail on the end. A lot like the, I think, Strike King Cutter Worm, kind of like the same deal. Uh, he got some Water Gremlin Egg Sinkers and like one ounce, no, three fourths ounce. And he got the Booyah Pad Crasher, absolutely the best frog you can buy for a pond. Um, it's very small, fits in the mouth very easily, and we catch a ton of fish on these things. Finally, um, I'm going to stop doing Mystery Tackle Box unboxings. They get more views, but my friends just give me a hard time about it because they think it's weird. But um, they just hate us because they ain't us, I guess. But um, this is my Mystery Tackle Box. Um, I can't find all the stuff that I got from last month because I've been using it. But um, I'm just going to show this to y'all. This is the Z-Man Batwings, like a jig trailer. Some 3 you all wide gap worm hooks they gave me one other cool thing it was kind of like this but it was flat it was by Sibyl and it was like, I was going to show it y'all but I can't find it but, um, so basically a, um, uh, a spook but um, this month Mystery Tackle Box was really cool favorite thing I got in here live target bait ball uh, this thing is just freaking amazing looking clear with those little baits in there. It was like supposed to mimic I guess a little shad and stuff. Uh fourteen no sixteen ninety nine dollar lure. Crazy good for mystery tackle box. Next another really good thing, VMC rugby jig head or jig hook things. Uh, it's like a wobble head. Before hard head he sits here, rotates. Next thing I got is the big bite baits little um like a pack of chunk basically. Charlie's worm, paddle tail worm, and June bug. Um, bass attacker, a little trick worm, something like that. Didn't get any hooks in this one. Oh yeah, I did. What am I talking about? 